The Secretary General has asked me to pass on this message of support for the European Day of Languages. The European Day of Languages is celebrated every year on 26th September. It is a day to encourage language learning for young and for old. At the time of rising xenophobia in many of Council of Europe member states, this year's European Language Day is also an opportunity to highlight the huge value of Europe's cultural diversity. Europe's nations are always at their strongest and most prosperous when we are open and outward facing, willing to embrace other ways of life and when we welcome those who can contribute to our societies. By pausing to celebrate the dozens of languages spoken across our communities, we can send a powerful message that Europe is a place where all backgrounds are welcome and individuals of every heritage can feel at home. Hundreds of events have been organized by schools, universities and cultural establishments to mark the day. I would like to send my best wishes to all those taking part. Those were the words of Torbjörn Jagland, Secretary General of Council of Europe. Now, I want to add some further information and thoughts of my own. The European Day of Languages, celebrated every year, is a festival of linguistic diversity, a day to encourage language learning for all young and old, a day to come together and marvel at the beauty of all Europe's languages. Against the current backdrop of rising populism, xenophobia and intolerance, where language is used to exclude and divide, this year's European Day of Languages gives us a much needed opportunity to highlight all that is positive and enriching to today's increasingly multilingual and culturally diverse Europe. Fifteen years after its inception, the day contributes to represent a force for unity as it reaches out a welcoming hand to new cultures and languages. It is one of many examples of our pioneering work to promote linguistic diversity, tolerance and respect. Other successful current initiatives include the development of a reference framework of competencies for democratic culture, the No Hate Speech Movement campaign, as well as the action plan on the fighting against violent extremism and radicalization leading to terrorism and an action plan on building inclusive societies. Such initiatives are strengthened through the cooperation between Council of Europe and the European Commission as exemplified through the joint action on the, of the European Centre for Modern Languages and the European Commission, notably in the area of multilingual classrooms. So, let us use our celebrations on and around 26th of September 2016 to send a clear message throughout Europe and beyond. Linguistic diversity is an important resource to be used and cherished, not just today, but every day. We must support the children freeing from war and terror. We must recognize and value all of the languages they bring to our schools. We must continue to strive for unity in diversity, harnessing 
the positive power of linguistic diversity to enrich our democratic and safe societies and to create more cohesive and inclusive societies.